Hello, Meteor Data family. Welcome to another amazing and interesting episode of our Python tutorial series. And as we do, we once in a while bring you Python applications to everyday activities. And in an earlier video, which I have indicated up here, we looked at how to convert PDF to Word documents using Python script. And so in today's episode, we are going to look at how to do the reverse. I mean, converting from a Word document to a PDF and then we'll try to merge the two in a function and make it more automated. All right. Okay, so on this note, I would like to say if you are new here, don't forget to subscribe, turn on post notification and be part of the family so that whenever there is any new alert of a, a, a new video, you will be able to get it quick and then you'll be able to join in the learning process. All right, so now to kick this started, we would need the docs to PDF package for the conversion of Word document to PDF. And so if you already do not have it installed, you have to pip install docs to PDF. And this would again connect you to the PyPy page. That's the main repository. And then check the docs to PDF onto your PC, download and then install that. All right, I currently have that, so no need to go back and rerun. And then now when we are done, we would import the docs to PDF. Another alternative is just to import the convert sub package from the docs to pdf so we indicate from docs to pdf import convert and then after invert, um, after com importing the convert function we then convert our input and then our output file we convert the input to the output file using the syntax as shown below all right so let's run this to i mean just import our convert from the docs to pdf all right and then currently we can list out the items in the files all right okay so I'm going to let me take out some items okay simply from here okay so let's um, do away with these ones for now Okay. All right, so we can relist the folder named files and then th these are what we have. Okay, so we are going to convert this Word document to a PDF. That's a sample.docs. So we can just simply type in here convert and then we convert the files slash sample.docs and then we convert that to let's say files um, today.pdf well there's bear in mind there's no today.pdf file so we convert in this to see if it works and now we have the process running okay and then there we have it it's done so we can now list the files directory and then we see now there's today.pdf all right and clearly this you there's one way of simply you know converting your word document to pdf now let's see how best to connect the two via function all right and so if you are new to functions i would leave the link to our function builds and then you can go back there and then refresh your memory and then you come back to continue the video from here all right so we start with our keyword def indicating that we are building a function and then our function name file converter and then we pass an Adami argument. Now in this case, I need an input file, which is conk. That we definitely need. All right, so the input file. Now the output file can be skipped. All right, so what we are doing is we just pass an output file, which is out file, and then equate it to none. And then we indicate the method, which by default we set to PDF to docs. And then we have our colon indicating that we are now building the function within. Now the reason why we have the out file set to none is that we want the function to be built in such a way that if even the user just passes in the input file, it should automatically pick the input file and then, you know, remove the extension and then convert it with, I mean, convert it to the PDF, maintaining the same name, but with the extension .pdf, exactly, or .docs, whichever way it is. If the person, if the user enters a PDF file, then it means it picks the name 
ignores the extension and then just converts to a Word document and then attaches that dot .docs. All right, so that's what we have here. So we are saying that if the out file is not specified, then what we are going to do in this case is, now let's say I have a equals to um, hello Meteo data family. All right, now let's say this is it dot .docs. Okay, so if I pass in my A, we see what the file name is. Now, if I want to find the indication of the final dot, so let's say dot R find, and the dot, it gives me the location of the dot that's from the right hand side. So, what we can do is now I can use this to subset my A. So, if I pick A from where the 22 is, which is where the dot is, all the way to the end will tell us what the extension is. So we can use this to know, okay, there's already the input extension and then convert to the alternative. And then also if we want to have the name, then it means we would reverse it, rather bring the colon, so the starting all the way to where that index is and we have that name. And that's all we've done. So in here, what we are saying is that pick the input file, the name without the extension and add the .docs if the extension that's derived from the file that was entered which is the input is a dot pdf that means if it's already a pdf we would convert the name to a dot docs as our output file all right else if it's a word document then it means it should be converted to pdf and then that's it all right okay and then that's for the output file and then we come to the approach so if we are converting by specifying a which method to be say docs to PDF, then it means in that case it should import the converts from the docs to PDF and convert the input file to an output file of a PDF. The alternative is that if we are not converting from docs to PDF, but then it's a PDF to docs, or if I put in anything here, then it means it should just convert from PDF to docs. So it imports a converter wrapper from PDF to docs and then wraps that around the input file and converts it to an out file, all right? And then when we are done, we indicate our out variable to be this input file has been converted successfully to an output file. And then this whole thing has been put in a trial um, construct. So we have the trial and error to indicate, okay, so you need to try this out first. If there's an error, then print out the exception or bring out the exception aspect else we know this has been executed successfully so the real basis behind this is to give the user also a prompt whether it's successful or not so if it's successful we'll have input file converted successfully to outs file other than that it means it would print out or would have an output of error detected recheck files and then we return the out okay Okay, so we check first or which method because the error can also be as a result of um, using a wrong which for a particular conversion. All right. Okay, so we run this function and it's executed. Now we come to test it. So in here we have when we list our files. So we have a sample.docs. Okay, there's sample1.pdf. We want to convert. So for instance, we call the file converter function. And then I specify in here just the input file. Files slash um, sample1.pdf. Now bear in mind, if I don't specify the which, the default is a PDF to docs. If I don't specify the out file, it will just pick the input file name and change that to the out file. Okay, so by this, it's going to use a default approach, which is the PDF to docs. So let's say I want to convert this instead, the sample dot docs. Okay, it means I would have to specify the method, else the default method is PDF to docs, and there's no PDF, so this will produce an error. Okay, so we have error detected. But then if I'm using the sample one, the PDF, and I don't even specify the which, the default is a PDF to docs, so that should work perfect. Yeah. 
yeah okay so it started as a Qtin and then clearly we can see it work and then they will tell us okay sample1.pdf converted successfully to sample1.docs all in the files directory all right now we can then emphatically state our out file so let's see I want the out file to be um, today's date say 02112022.docs okay then I indicate I can indicate the which and specify PDF to docs all right so what if I'm going to use a different thing let's say we are converting docs to PDF and then we specify the output to be PDF and then we are going to use the sample.docs okay this should also work because now you're converting from docs to PDF and so we're going for the second approach and convert this doc Word document into a PDF and that is done successfully now when we list the files we can see the directory I mean the folder I mean the file we just produced which is the 2nd November 2022 PDF all right and so with this it's easy you can just put together this function and then always make it easier to automate um, the conversion of either PDF to Word document or I mean the vice versa all right so that's all by way of uh, um, tutorial for today I believe we learned a lot from this and we need to now try our hands more on some more examples and then practical use of it on a day-to-day -day basis um, if you're not part of the family already do subscribe and then join the network join the family and then also um, do um, hit the notification and then be part of the group and then also don't forget to like share and then um, hope to see you in the next tutorial video. Bye-bye.